Hi everyone, this is Carla. I'm glad you could join me for a few minutes today. Um, I've been working on some fun little projects. I'm going to share those with you. First one I'm going to share with you is so simple yet so cute. And I really think this is going to be a good craft fair item. So uh, what it's called is the little binky clip. So the way I made this is so simple. And if you have any fabric scraps, that's what I've used. I did not buy one uh, piece of fabric to make these. I just used things that I already had. Now, to make this, you're going to need some fabric. And you're going to need some of these little binky clips. You can get different kinds. These are the ones that I purchased. I got these off of Amazon. And they were... Um, uh, $11.99, but there were 24 in a package, and they were also 24 different colors. So that made it really nice. It really went with a, a lot of different fabrics that I have. Now, the way these work is this is the front, and if you flip it over, it took me a while to kind of figure this out, but um, it's, it's kind of hard at first, but you just flip this little flip right here, just keep pushing, and it will flip this up and you can see there are little teeth in there like little grips that you can grip that onto fabric or a little baby shirt or the blanket whatever you need to clip it on and then to close it you just simply push this little clip back down and that holds it in place and this is what you attach it on to the fabric that you're going to use so I've got um my fabric, but before I went on to the fabric, you know, I thought, gosh, it'd really be cute to make these out of ribbon. I didn't have any luck with my ribbon. Now, you might have better luck than I did. At first I thought, well, because I uh, made some ribbons on some little animals, so I thought, I'm gonna take this ribbon, it's an inch and a half, just fold it in half, stitch it down the side, and I also used some of this heat bond on it, and I, Try that, and it's just too stiff. I mean, it's just way too stiff for a binky thing. I think it's just, you know, doesn't look comfortable for a binky. I don't know if that makes any sense. It's just too stiff for a baby. So anyway, I, I tried that with a couple of them, and this ribbon, it was too stiff with that also. And then I thought, well, I'll just try the ribbon. So uh, I just tried the ribbon, but I still, I don't know, I just didn't like it as well as the fabric. Trying to keep it even for me was difficult, but you might be better at that than I am. So what I ended up doing was, uh, like I said, I took, I'll move these out of the way. These are all the different ones. You can see all the different colors of the clips and all the different fabrics that I've used. We'll move these aside. And then um, from actually my book pillows that I made, I had some of this fabric left. So what I did was I cut two strips that are 10 and a half inches long. So you're gonna have two strips. Well, that's to make two. To make one, you need one strip that's two and a half inches long. And then you're gonna need it four inches wide. So again, 10 and a half inches long and four inches wide. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take each end and fold it over about a quarter of an inch and give that a press. Now I've already done these, so I don't have to kind of run back and forth. So you're gonna give that a press and you're not gonna hem it. You're just gonna give it a press and then you're gonna take it to your ironing board and you're going to turn it over and give it a press in the center. And then you're going to turn each side into the center and give that a press. Like so. So you've got something that looks like this after you've pressed it. Then you're simply going to take this, fold it over, and all you're going to do is top stitch down both sides. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll come back and we'll do what's next. Okay, so I have top stitched on both sides of these little strips of fabric, 
And now we're going to attach the little clasps, the little clips, and we're going to put uh, some of this elastic cord on the end to hold the binky on. Now, I think you could probably use ribbon or you can use just plain elastic, but I had these uh, different spools of this elastic cord from making journals that you use for the binding. So I think that's what I'm gonna use to uh, put the little binky holder on there. And I had a yellow that was really pretty, but I don't know, it was just too stiff for what I needed it for. So I wasn't able to use that. I could have used yellow, but anyway, these will be just fine. I'm gonna use orange for this. This has some oranges and yellow, some bright colors, and it doesn't have to necessarily match your clamps. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut about five and a half, um, five and a half or six, I think five and a half will do it. So I'm gonna cut a couple of these little strips of elastic cord, and I got these on Amazon. I think they're, yeah, two millimeter. And let's go ahead and cut this other little piece here, and it can be a little bit longer. I'd rather have a little longer, it's a little shorter. So move this out of the way. Now, what you're simply going to do is you're gonna just take this and you're gonna fold it, put your ends together. And all you're gonna need to do is kind of open up. We did not hem this opening because we'll be sewing over it when we turn it over for the class, but in this one, you'll just be sewing across the edge. So there was really no need to go ahead and hem it before that, because you'll actually be closing it up when you add this little piece. So we're gonna poke that down in there, and I want it down in there good enough so I know when I sew across that, it's going to hold that on. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll be back. And what I'll do is, I'll just use my straight stitch. I do have my walking foot on, and I'm just gonna go back and forth, back stitch, oh, two or three times on that, just to make sure that's gonna be in there, nice and secure. So now I wanna trim off these threads. And now we're gonna put on the clasp. Now for the clasp, this is the back side, the side that you pull up, it's gonna be your back side. So whichever one you want facing the front, uh, you pull it out and uh, flip it over. So I, this is fine with me. So I'm just gonna take this and just kind of thread it through this little opening there. Take it. Fold it down about an inch, inch and a half, and just kind of line it up. I'm going to take it back to my machine and uh, sew across there and back stitch two or three times. So I went ahead and uh, finished this other one while I was doing that one. As you can see, I've got the clamps on. Here's the elastic on the end. And I don't have a binky, but I do have this plastic ring, and I'll show you how it attaches. All you're going to do is you're going to take pretend this is your binky you're going to take the elastic and you're going to pull the binky through here and then you're just going to take the clamp and pull it through the elastic and then you're going to pull that elastic down and that will hold your binky on so when the baby's sucking on the binky you're just going to unclamp this and clip it on, just say if I wanted to clip it on my shirt, just clip it on like that, and that's gonna hold on there, and the baby's gonna have the binky, and it's not gonna get away from you. So I just think this is so cute, and I think it will be a good craft fair item. We shall see. Now, I'm going to package these up, and I think I'm gonna put two in a package. And I was thinking about selling them 
Uh, well, I'll tell you what I'm thinking, and then you guys, maybe you'll comment down below. I really would kind of like your advice on this one. I'm either going to sell them for $3 a piece, package them separately, or I'm going to package them two in a package for $5. Or, <laughs> if I package them separately, I will say you can buy two for $5 rather than $3 a piece. So, that's either separately, they're going to be $3. If you buy two of the separate ones, you're going to pay only $5 instead of 6 Or, should I just package two in a package and price them at $5? What do you think? please let me know down below and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial um, it really goes fast all I did first was I just cut out all of my fabric pieces and I pressed them then all I had to do was go to the machine and just stitch the sides and I tried to get as many as I could with one kind of thread so I didn't have to switch as much but some of them I did have to to switch on a little bit but it went really fast so I hope you've enjoyed this and if you have please give me a thumbs up and I hope you've had a wonderful day and until next time bye bye